From Clay Thompson's stunning return from injuries to Michael Jordan overcoming a serious injury early in his career, some players over the course of their NBA careers actually managed to defeat the curse of injuries and make some amazing comebacks, as Jamal Crawford did. Regarded widely as one of the greatest bench players in NBA history, Jamal Crawford easily could have faded into obscurity, as many did before him. The former Bulls star underwent reconstructive surgery on his knee right after his rookie season, and that would cost him nearly 60 games of his sophomore season in the NBA. But the warrior that Crawford was helped him return and bless the NBA with his handles, and give us the famous crossover. In two years' time, he'd established himself as a starter and would thrive, before eventually becoming a three-time sixth man of the year over his career. But he's not the only player to return from injury with a bang, with Joel Embiid fighting back from injuries to produce stellar NBA campaigns, one of the most injury-prone players, Embiid, started his career with a lot of negativity surrounding him. People believed he wouldn't make it as he was already suffering so many injuries before making it to the NBA draft. Teams stayed away, and if not for his injury, he would have been the number one pick. But the Sixers took a chance on him, selecting him as third overall. Despite his setback in his healing process, which led to Embiid missing the entire 2015 season, and another injury that forced him out of the majority of the 2017 season, Embiid has managed to get his career back on track. And I'd even go out on a limb and say that he's been very unfortunate not to win the MVP in the last two seasons, coming runner-up to Nikola Jokic. But talking about currently active players, I've got to include this two-time NBA champion. Yep, you guessed it right, Kevin Durant. And honestly speaking, the sky is the limit for what more he can achieve now that he's with the Phoenix Suns. He may not be your cup of tea, but Durant's easily the most gifted scorer of his generation, and we could have been robbed of his greatness after that extremely serious Achilles rupture he suffered with the Warriors in his third season. It would cost the Warriors the chance to win a third title in a row, and KD the chance to play in the NBA for more than 550 days. Many believe the Warriors would have made it three in a row, and KD would have made it three finals MVPs in a row. But despite not doing that due to the injury, Durant returned to fitness, and after securing a move to Brooklyn, Kevin managed to revive his career completely. He may not have had the most team success with the Nets, but he's gotten his individual form back, and now with the Suns, he'll be chasing a third ring, for sure, as he's built another super team in Phoenix. But how about someone who completed the comeback from injury to perfection. That's right, I'm talking about a star of the 80s and 90s, Dominique Wilkins. Considered one of the greatest players of all time, Wilkins was a high-flying and proficient scorer. He left his mark on NBA history with his consistency, with a decade straight of at least 25 PPG per season, a nine-time All-Star, a two-time Slam Dunk champion, and the scoring leader of the 1986 year, Wilkins was truly special. However, he suffered a very serious Achilles rupture in 1992, and everyone believed that was that. But not one to give up, Wilkins returned to action the following season and stunned the NBA community. Despite losing his explosiveness due to the injury, he adapted his game, and playing 71 games, he averaged nearly 30 points per game. By the time he hung his boots up in 1999, Wilkins was still posting a scoring average of just just under 25. That's not normal, folks. 25 PPG back in the 80s and 90s, when players actually cared about defending? That's absurd. No wonder people consider Wilkins among the greatest players to play the game. But how about another all-time great from the 80s and the 90s who suffered a similar fate? The one and only Michael Jordan. Given all the greatness MJ would go on to achieve, many tend to forget the 80s, even though they were truly special. His airness, before he became his airness, actually suffered a foot injury in the 1985 season. It was only his second season in the NBA, and a broken foot can be more than enough to kill a promising career. Luckily for the NBA world, Michael Jordan was made of tougher stuff. His immediate return from the injury was one for the ages, as he came back to action after missing 65 games 
Williams to take on the Boston Celtics of all teams. The Celtics would sweep them, but Jordan left a mark on the NBA that year, averaging a staggering 43.7 points per game. What followed was probably even more spectacular, as MJ never looked back. He would go on to do the three-peat in the early 90s before doing it all over again in the late 90s, and he established himself as the greatest player of all time. But talking about immediate impacts after returning from injury, I can't overlook Klay Thompson's extremely impressive return from injury in 2022. The other part of the Splash Brothers, Klay Thompson has been one of the pillars of this new look basketball that we've been introduced to. He's easily one of the greatest shooters to play the game, but before his injury, Klay was very much in the discussion for being the greatest three-point shooter of all time. He was actually considered by many to be even more effective than his Splash Brother, Steph Curry. But then, it all went down as he suffered a torn ACL. A return from that led to an immediate Achilles tendon injury, keeping Clay out for a total of two seasons. Many believed that this was the end of Clay's career, because who can possibly return from that? Clay was determined, and after months of hard work, he made it back for the Warriors in early January of 2022. In fact, his timing was impeccable. Clay helped the Warriors late push for the postseason, and then he played all 22 games in the playoffs to help the Warriors to their fourth title since the Renaissance. But returning from recurring injuries is something that another star did much better than even Clay. That's right, I'm talking about the one and only Willis Reed. Even though many people and analysts put Reed in the discussions for what could have been because of all the injuries he suffered, thing is, he was spectacular, even with all the setbacks he'd suffered. The 1970 MVP winner actually led the Knicks to the NBA Finals against none other than Wilt Chamberlain's Lakers. Unfortunately, Reed suffered a massive thigh injury in Game 5, tearing his thigh muscle. Everyone believed that was that, as the Lakers forced a Game 7 after winning Game 6 in his absence. Reed, though, wasn't going to give up easily. He took pain-killing injections and made the tip-off. While he'd only play 27 minutes, his first quarter baskets and the insane defense on Chamberlain allowed the Knicks to go all the way. Netflix needs to make a movie on this, by the way. And despite more injuries, Reed would go on to win another championship and finals MVP in 1973 as well. That's why I firmly believe he shouldn't be in those what could have been conversations. And that's all I had on the NBA players who made an amazing comeback from injury.